to all the participants who have participated over the last couple of days. Uh, firstly, I welcome the Honorable Minister from Lithuania, a very young man, Carolis, only 29 years old. Can you believe it? Uh, <laughs> Carolis, I must tell you, you spoke really, really well. And I uh, love the way you talked about how the ecosystem here and back in Lithuania actually can complement each other. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. I'm sure lots of very exciting uh, opportunities for those entrepreneurs who are looking to use Lithuania as a gateway into Northern Europe and Europe at large, mainland Europe at large. Um, thank you to Honorable Minister Satish Pandaji. Thank you, sir, for uh, you know, coming again, coming back uh, to BioAsia. Really appreciate you taking the time. And thank you for presenting uh, the opportunities that are available for all the entrepreneurs in the state of Odisha. Thank you um, <clears throat> also to Catherine, Catherine Kivi, uh, the ambassador of Estonia. Catherine, uh, it's always a delight to have you back in our city. And uh, like I told you last time, I have a special tie and special uh, memory of Estonia, which I can't, of course, uh, you know, mention on the mic here. We'll, <laughs> we'll of course, uh, you know, talk about it later. Thank you very much, Catherine, for coming back. Um, BP Acharya ji, in fact, uh, he sent me pictures yesterday of, uh, I think, the first BioAsia back in the day, 20 years ago. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for everything that you have done for the state, for everything that you have done for this sector. Jayesh Ranjan, my principal secretary, and of course our, uh, our own uh, Life Sciences Advisory Council chairman, and the chairman of Dr. Reddy Labs, Sri Satish Reddy, thank you very much. And the man who made all of this happen, and uh, to his team, Shakti Nagapan, thank you, our director of Life Sciences, I must thank him. I think he deserves a big round of applause, guys. He and his entire team, Paridi and uh, the entire team that uh, works with Shakti, they deserve a huge round of applause. This year's BioAsia, as you all know, is the 20th edition of uh, this event. It's a marquee event. It's one of the largest events uh, for life sciences in Asia and in India, for sure. You know, this year, in fact, has been the biggest attendance in terms of attendance, in terms of uh, the impact it has created. More than 2,015 delegates have attended. More than 175 plus exhibitors and startups have participated in the trade show. And you've just heard some from five finalists, you know, uh, who are the startups who have come in. I'm delighted that uh, they are looking at more and more innovation. I'm very excited. I was very excited to listen into some of them. More than 50 countries represented over the last two days. More than 2,000 plus B2B meetings. And like I said, this is the biggest BioAsia in terms of numbers the history of this event. My compliments to the entire team who has done really well. But what I'm excited about is the road ahead. Because if you think about all the deliberations, if you reflect on all the conversations that have happened, I'm truly excited about the possibilities on how technology can act as a force multiplier to help the life sciences industry innovate and help the life sciences industry scale in terms of its ambition. And how the resources that we have the most precious resource that we have at our disposal, the human capital, the young India, can truly come you know, to the party and start working on world-class products and start working on world-class innovations. And thirdly and most importantly, I'm also excited about the opportunity that India presents for the rest of the world. In terms of scale, I think uh, in terms of manufacturing, medical devices, in terms of manufacturing pharmaceuticals, in terms of manufacturing all kinds of life sciences products, there is no better location than in, in India. And among Indian states, I think there is anybody who can truly match up to the kind of abilities that Telangana, in fact, possesses. As I mentioned yesterday, the ecosystem currently in Telangana is at about $80 billion. But we are hopeful and we are very ambitious. We have set a very ambitious and an audacious agenda for ourselves. And we have received great response. We would love to see this triple in size from $80 billion today to $250 billion by 2030. Now, that is an ambitious agenda that will help not only the state of Telangana, but the entire life sciences industry in India. So I look forward to having more meaningful conversations. I look forward to having more meaningful collaborations, most importantly, because the theme of BioAsia this year was advancing for one, advancing for one humanity. That can only happen by a multilateral collaborative approach, engaging all forms of stakeholders, cutting across geographical boundaries, cutting across uh, you know, regional, religious, social boundaries, reaching and including everybody. 
I'm a firm believer in the 3I mantra, innovation, infrastructure, and inclusive growth. These three together, these three eyes together, can make the fourth eye, India, a truly powerhouse of, you know, a talent and first world country in times to come. So all the very best. Jai Telangana. Jai Hind.